Okay, we'll be reviewing the K18 Advanced Detector. This is an anti-spy detector. It'll detect radio frequencies and magnetic frequencies as well. This is a box that it comes in. Don't be alarmed by that front. It's, it's what they tell you it is. Um, to power it up, you've got a little knob right here. You'll just switch that on. And for the radio frequency, that's the first mode that it comes up with. Your MS is going to be lit, lit up like that. Right there. And to get that, you just got to turn the sensitivity up until it starts beeping like that. The lights go on. And just dial it back down until it doesn't go off anymore. It's a pretty sensitive dial. But that's how it works. Here's our antenna for picking up those radio frequencies. Show you how that works. I've got a transmitter right here. It's going to broadcast a 2.4 gigahertz signal because you can see when I turn it on, it powers up. So if I move that away, get rid of that signal. So now the signals aren't interfering, it shuts off. But as soon as I collide with the signal, it turns back on. You can adjust the sensitivity as well. So that's how that works. Um, Another fun thing is you can turn that annoying beeper off. If you don't like that, you simply push the mode button once and it'll change to a vibration. So it'll vibrate in your hand, you'll feel that. The next mode is the magnetic field indicator. <laughs> now this is good if you think someone's putting like a GPS tracking device on your car, you can s swipe underneath your car with this little uh, detector um, and I'll show you how that works I got a magnet here so as soon as it hits that magnetic field this little light will turn on we turn the beep on it'll start beeping as well so you can see how that works as soon as it detects that magnetic field you'll you'll know the last thing that's pretty neat about this is the oh, here we go You've got this little lens right in the middle, kind of funky looking. And I'll do my best to show you in the camera, but this is to help you find hidden cameras or infrared signals, sensors. Um, the way to, to use this is you push the, the arrow button right here. That'll turn on these lights in the back. And then you look through the little knob. And when you see, let me pull this up to the camera, if you're finding a, a camera or an infrared signal, it'll reflect in that light. So there's a little secret hidden camera right there. If we turn the light off, it disappears and it stops reflecting. See? And then you turn it back on. You can see that in the middle of the, the camera lens, it's reflecting that light really well. So that's how you use that to spot the hidden cameras. All in all, it, it took a little while to figure out how to use and um, but now, now that I've got it figured out, I think it's a pretty nifty device. I will say this little dial at the front is kind of, it's just a sicker. It's already peeling up right here. It's pretty useless. You can't actually uh, change which radio frequencies you're scanning for. So I definitely think it's not the most expensive and um, nicest detector that you can get. But for the price, it gets the job done. And I think it's a really... Really good investment to make sure nobody's following you and, and no one's spying on you.